All right, thank you, Raquel. With us now is Chris Randall with Dinosaur World, and you have a big anniversary coming up. We do. Um, May 21st is going to be our 20th uh, anniversary, and we wanted to take an opportunity to say thank you to all of our guests and our fellow community members who have mm -hmm. supported us and uh, just let us have a really successful first 20 years, and uh, we wanted to, to say thank you for that. Yeah, Dinosaur wor World is such a fun place to go. I've been there on several field trips with my kids over the years. And so, yeah, it's got a special place in, in my heart and probably a lot of other parents too, and teachers for sure. Um, so tell me, what is, what, is, um, what is planned for the 20th anniversary? Well, we have several surprises planned. Uh, some of the things you can expect are we're going to have a face painter there. Uh, we're going to have a balloon artist. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to have some paleontologists with um, actual authentic fossils, and they're going wow. to be giving presentations throughout the day. And uh, they're going to have some really neat things that you probably wouldn't run across in your everyday life. And so you will have the opportunity to uh, see some of those things. How fun. Now, you brought something with you today. Um, what is that? I actually did. This is a megalodon tooth, and this might this is an example of something that you might see at one of the demonstrations. And uh, a megalodon is basically a prehistoric extinct shark, very similar to a, a great white in appearance. And uh, this particular tooth uh, was found in South Carolina. And this shark uh, that it belonged to was approximately 50 feet long. So wow. fairly large, pretty impressive, <laughs> yeah. about yes. the size of a school bus. Um, has anything from a dinosaur or just any prehistoric item been found here in Kentucky? Uh, not, not locally in this area that I'm aware of, but in northern Kentucky around uh, Big Bone Lick, uh, there were some mammoth fossils and uh, giant sloths and that kind of thing found oh, wow. in that area. How fun. Yeah. What is the oldest thing that you have um, at there at Dinosaur World? Well, uh, we have some fossils that probably date back several millions of years old. Uh, some uh, Spinosaurus cool. teeth and uh, some T-Rex teeth. Uh -huh. So they're, they're fairly old. Wow. So little boys, I'm sure, really love Dinosaur World, but girls do too, don't they? There's something there for the girls too. Oh, absolutely. They, we see uh, lots of girls that have a great time, and uh -huh. uh, they're just as excited with the dinosaurs and, and everything we have to offer as well. Oh, because the, the three times I've been to Dinosaur World for field trips was with my girls, so <laughs> they loved it. There's so much to do there. Um, so when is your anniversary celebration? Uh, it is going to be May 21st, and we'll be there from 8.30 to 5 Central Time, okay. and we do have different activities uh, scheduled throughout the day. Oh, so whenever fine. you come, would be a great time. Okay, does it cost to get in? Uh, we will do, yes, it will cost, but our rates are not going to be more that day, even though we're having all the additional things. Uh -huh. um, our prices can be found on the website. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Chris Randall. Did I get that right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I was thinking, I'm like, I hope I got his name right. You did. Thank you so much for thank being you. here today. Dinosaur World 20th anniversary coming up on May 21st. We'll be right back.